Hello and welcome to this video on finding the uh, equation of a vertical and horizontal line. Okay, this is dead easy, but everyone finds it really confusing. So hopefully in this video, I will show you how I would do it and hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so let's take a look. There's a few things we need to know first. Okay, we need to know which axis is which. Okay, so on this graph here, there are two axes. Yeah, there's this one here that I'm now coloring in red. Okay, this one that's now red is what we call the x-axis, so I'll sling an x there. This one here that I'm now colouring in green is what we call the y-axis, okay? So I'm going to write a little y there to help us remember, okay? Not too bad, is it? The next thing we need to know is how to write coordinates, okay? And it might be worth making a note with like a pen and paper or whatever uh, just in front of you so you don't actually have to remember it straight away, you can just have it in front of you. Now, the way we write coordinates is like this x then y okay so remember that I'll leave that up there so say I pick a point on this graph and I'll color it in green uh, blue sorry say this point up here so how do I write this well let's have a look right so uh, how should I do this I'll do it in red I go across I start with the x-axis I go across on my x-axis until I get in line with it so I've gone across four okay and then I go up or down or whatever until I get to that point. So let's have a look. I had to go across four and then I had to go up four. So to write it, I would write this as four, four, okay? Because I had to go four across in the X direction and then four up in the Y direction. Let me pick another point. Let's do this. Well, I don't want to keep doing ones that are the same. Let's do this one here. Okay, so how many do I have to go across on the X axis to get to it? Four. And then how many down do I have to go this time? Well, I have to go down to negative three. So to write this as coordinates, I say I went across four in the X direction, and then I went down to negative three in my Y direction. Okay, making sense so far? Let's do one more, and let's pick this one over here. Okay, so again, starting in the X axis, we always start from zero, which is this middle point here. Okay, so I have to go back to negative six, and then I go up two to positive two. Okay, so as coordinates I go back six and up two so I've gone to negative six and positive two okay and that's how we work out coordinates nice and easy yeah so now we don't need this anymore I will get rid of it rewind the video make a note of it if that really helps you so we're just focusing on vertical and horizontal lines okay now a vertical line is one that goes up like like perfectly up and horizontal is one that goes across like this yeah so let's draw one on let's draw one on in red let's draw on a vertical line that looks like this okay so let's put down some coordinates that are on this line let's take a look at this one if I pick this point it's a point on the line and let's have a look at its coordinates well it's 5 1 okay let's take a look at this one up here this one is 5 4 let's take a look at this one down here this one is five negative four okay now would you can you notice anything in common with all of these coordinates because I can okay let me even do another one uh, let's do this one here we've got five negative two what do all of these coordinates have in common with each other well hopefully you can see right that it, they all have an x coordinate of five now because they have an x all have an x coordinate of five we could describe the line as x equals 5 because no matter which point I pick on that line the x coordinate is going to be 5 right so I could call this line x equals 5 and that is the equation of that line that's how easy it is yeah now there's a rule as well okay because in maths there's usually a rule and if you have a vertical line like this okay I'll draw it over here you can see the blue one that always has an equation yeah that looks like x equals some number right so that's an x equals line. And in this case, the red line is x equals five. Let's take a look at another example. Again, it's probably worth writing this down, yeah. Let's take a look at another one, this time horizontal. So let me draw it on, doesn't matter, I'll draw it on down here this time. Cool. So let's pick a few points on this line and take a look at their coordinates. Let's look at this one. Seven, negative three. Let's take a look at this one. Two, negative three. Let's take a look at this one. Negative four negative three what do all of these coordinates have in common massive hint from the last example we did well hopefully you can notice they all have a y coordinate of negative three so 
we could describe this line as y equals negative 3 because all of the y coordinates on this line are negative 3 okay and there is something else as well it crosses through my y-axis remember this one here is my y-axis it crosses through my y-axis at negative 3 as well and that was the same for the x1 too so we could have another rule that says well if I have a horizontal line like this then its equation is always going to look like this y equals some number yeah nice and easy right that is literally it and that will work for any horizontal or vertical line okay so hopefully that made sense hopefully that helped okay uh, comment if you have any questions or if there are any other videos you'd like me to make thank you very much for watching